Hello, my name is Simonize, and welcome to another Simonize Guide video. Recently, I made a third rogue character in Season of Discovery, because I just like playing rogue so much. But I set to myself a special challenge with this character. I wanted to solo all of the dungeon bosses needed for my pre-raid best in slot gear. And I was actually able to do that even before I hit max level. I soloed all these bosses at level 24. I killed Baron Silverlane in Shadowfang Keep, I killed Lord Cobron in Wailing Caverns, and I even killed Edwin Van Cleef in the Deadmines. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I did that so you can get these drops without having to lose the role on Cruel Barb to a dang warrior, or even worse, a filthy hunter taking your Cruel Barb. Oh my god, let's never have that happen again. The character you see here is the character I did all the soloing on. I am 25 now, I did do a Black Fathom Deeps, but I'm here to show you the gear and talent setup that I used while I was doing the soloing. Dark leather shoulders, crafted item, very easy to get. Cape of the monkey, chest of the monkey, bracers of the monkey. You got a skeletal club, this was only 50 silver on the auction house. Pretty decent weapon. Cross dagger of the monkey, some gun, monkey, monkey. War Song Boots, Leggings of the Fang that I got from soloing Wailing Caverns, Deathkin Belt from a quest, and Emblazoned Gloves, Agility Stamina, basically a monkey glove. The gear's good, but there's no dungeon loot aside from the Leggings of the Fang. There's nothing that requires a group quest or raid quest or anything like that. For the rune setup for most of the bosses, we're using just a Flesh Wound, Blade Dance, and Saber Slash. And for the talent setup, we have four points in Malice, three points lightning reflexes, two improved sinister strike, five deflection, and one repost. So let's start with the most exciting one, soloing Edwin Van Cleef in the Deadmines so you can get your cruel barb. So here we are at the start of the Deadmines, and the first trick to note is that we don't have to kill any mobs all the way up until the shipyard room. There's a bunch of doors that are locked behind bosses, and normally you kill the boss and then the door opens. But actually, you can go right up to the door and click a lever that is on the opposite side of the door to open the door without killing the boss. So here's the door for Roxor. And we go to the left corner. We just mouse over until, there it is, the lever. And we just walk through. Here's the shredder door, and there's the lever. Right click, move through, wait for our stealth cooldown. Now here's the last door for Gilnid, and there'll be a couple mobs nearby. And if you wanna do this without catching aggro from any of them, you need to wait till they've wandered uh, pretty far away. You can wait and try to distract them. Let's see if this is good. It was not good, so I burned my vanish. For the next section, we can actually skip getting the Defias gunpowder as a rogue. We do not need to activate the cannon. We don't need to loot the gunpowder, spawning the elite or anything like that. We can simply lockpick the ironclad door. Getting past Mr. Smite can be a little bit tricky. Good distract to the left and jump to the right will usually do it. Now we have crippling poison on our weapons and we have some agility elixirs. That should make it a little easier for us to kill these. And the crippling poison really helps because these mobs will attempt to run away when they get low. And if they chain pull one into another, it can be kind of frustrating. I'll start over at this end where we can safely pull just one of the mobs at a time.
Now that we've cleaned up the trash mobs, our next goal is to take out Captain Greenskin. And we're going to do this by killing the pirates one at a time and then fighting Captain Greenskin. We'll start with a sap on the pirate and we'll kill the squall shaper first and we're going to pull him over a little ways. Now we're going to strafe and jump off here and land right here. This is an evade spot. We're just going to chill out right here. The mobs are going to reset. I have this poison on me. I'm going to wait for it to deal damage and then I'm going to bandage myself so I don't die to this poison. But as we stand here, the mobs are going to reset. And that squall shaper we killed is not going to respawn. This allows us to heal up without having to burn a vanish cooldown. You can also achieve the same thing by simply vanishing and letting the mob reset, but this method is pretty nice. Now, if you have a bit more character power, perhaps you brought in a world buff or you use some consumable agility and strength elixirs or something like that, you may be able to take out both of Greenskin's pirates and then reset only once. But this way is very simple, very easy, doesn't require any of that extra stuff or very good gear. Uh, and you still take out the pirates pretty easily. Now that it's only Greenskin left, we're just gonna take out Greenskin and it will not be that difficult. It can be nice to bring anti-venoms here to get rid of the poison he puts on you. Now Greenskin is dead and we're ready to face Van Cleef. But if you haven't done this strategy before, what you should first do is practice the jump that we're gonna do. And we're gonna be jumping back and forth right here. So this part is very simple. That's just hold W at the right angle. Sometimes jumping makes it easier. And this is jump onto here. And then this is move forward and jump, then release both keys to stick to the wall. Then press a jump and release it and then tap W. Now you're here and hold W and you're over. And as we repeat this back and forth, Van Cleef is gonna run back and forth like that. We're gonna change up our runes for killing Van Cleef. We're gonna use quick draw on the chest and we're gonna use between the eyes on the legs. Between the eyes is very important because we're gonna use it to stun the boss and if we stun the boss when he's above 50% health and then drop him below 50% health, he will not spawn his second set of adds. Now, the most difficult part of this fight is gonna be right at the start. We need to kill both of the Defias Blackguard before we start kiting Van Cleef. Having a healing potion ready to go, having evasion and thistle tea as well is very helpful. Here we go. need to do some healing. I'll position better so I'm close to where I want to be in the end. Healing. Okay. Oh my...
54. We should probably fight him. Okay, good. We skipped the... It's, it's easy going from here. It's easy at this point, you guys. We skipped the summon. One damage per shot. We can we can actually just kill him straight up here. I think. Yeah, I mean, eventually you kill him straight up. Yeah. First try. easy every time you guys it this game is so easy that's what i'm telling you the it the game is just so easy you guys okay here we are at the start of shadow fang keep and we are going to solo baron silver lane we're going to get experience from him and the ring is definitely going to drop this time Oh, uh, okay. Now here, you do not have to kill this boss to activate the NPC. If you're on Alliance side, you talk to this NPC instead, but it's basically the same deal. We're gonna hit the lever, go in, boss is attacking us, that's fine. Hit the dialogue option and hit vanish. He's just gonna go on and do his thing and open the door for us. Get a distract. And we make our way out. Okay, now, here's where Baron Silver Lane is. But there are three mobs we want to kill before we engage Baron Silver Lane. Now, sometimes you can fight Baron Silver Lane without these aggroing, but you see they kind of wander around a little bit. We are going to kill those two and a patrolling uh, Shadow Fang guy just to be safe, to be sure we're in the clear when we're actually fighting Baron Silver Lane. There's the patrol. There's the patrolling mob. Oh, that's... Oh, shoot. That's that's kind of annoying. It's not that big of a deal, but I should have kicked this to prevent him from applying it. I forgot that they do this. Opening with uh, Blood Fury first, so I get my bonus on the Saber Slash uh, damage. You see, he really just, he doesn't deal that much damage to us when we have uh, Blade Dance and just a Flesh Wound. We just kill him before he kills us. All right, we got a Ghost spawn, so I'm gonna use my combo points there before I tab over to the Ghost. Make sure the Ghosts get taken out, see. Kind of annoying, but not really a problem. If you do need to use a healing potion on this boss, you want to make sure you wait until after Veil of Shadows is down. Uh, otherwise, it'll reduce the effect of the healing potion pretty substantially. Boss is dead, and we loot the... Oh, wait, Haunting Spirit again. Okay, and we loot the ring, you guys. Wait, closing the stream prediction. 
the ring you guys and we'll edit the YouTube video because that was a that was a nice recording we're gonna edit the YouTube video to actually have the ring loot in okay uh, just you know a little copy paste a little YouTube magic here we are at the start of Wailing Caverns and in Wailing Caverns we're going after Lord Cobron for the leggings of the fang so we're just gonna run in here hopefully get our leggings of the fang and our glowing lizard scale cloak on the first try the Wailing Caverns bosses, of all the bosses you can uh, solo in dungeons, are pretty easy. These are the least challenging for sure. Alright, and here we are at Lord Cobron. In this area, there is one Druid of the Fang that patrols, so you want to be extra careful. You just want to wait for him to go away before you pull Lord Cobron here. And like I said, this boss is one of the easiest bosses among all the dungeon bosses that you solo for loot. We are simply going to walk up to him and kill him as soon as this Druid of the Fang goes away. Nothing, nothing really fancy. Activate Blood Fury, Saber Slash, Blade Dance, start hitting. If he does a healing ability, we might kick it. Yeah, maybe we'll kick the Lightning Bolt. Re-up Blade Dance, hit Evasion. off the pythons no healing potion required no thistle tea required easy peasy looting leggings of the fang on the first try very good that's what we're looking for now if you were not as lucky as me you might want to reset the dungeon and do it again uh, and if you want to do that quickly you can jump on to this and log out. And from here, when you log back in, you'll be at the start of the dungeon again. Thank you for watching. I know that one was a longer one, but I hope you learned something. I wanted to get all the footage in of all the different strategies I learned while soloing these bosses at level 24, so you can do it too. If you want to catch me live, you can do that at twitch.tv slash show, or you can join the Discord, chat with everyone there. All that's linked in the video description. I hope you're having fun in Season of Discovery, just like me.